Hello champions, welcome to the next lecture on the memory based questions of CSR net July 2025. This is the part 2 related to the CSR net mathematics. The part 1 I already uploaded on my channel Dr. Harishkar and the playlist is CSR UGC net. You can watch and see how you can solve all these questions in a simple mem. Now let's start with the first questions. How you can solve these questions in a 15 second time periods? Do you get the 15 second or maximum maximum 20 second or 25 second? Can you solve the question in the 25 second time periods? No. Believe me, you can do. How? If you look about these equations, what come in your mind when you look about these equations? That means f is my homogeneous function. Once f is my homogeneous function, what is the degree? Degree is my 3. Is it okay? Now, if you look about the options, they are talking about the partial derivatives. Fine. Once you're talking about the partial derivatives, which things come in your mind related to the homogeneous functions? That is called as Euler homogeneous theorem. Is it okay? Now, what is the Euler homogeneous theorems? All we know, this is x partial derivative of f with respect to x plus y partial derivative of f with respect to y, which is equal to n into f where n is my degree of the homogeneous function fine the second and third option suggested you about the second order second order partial derivatives so the relation is del square x square del square f upon del x square plus 2xy del square f upon del x into del y plus y square del square f upon del y square which is equal to n into n minus 1 f now based on these two results you can solve the problem in a quick second look at the first third and the fourth option how you can solve them quickly you can see what is that coefficient is x if you compare them x will be 1 y will be 1 fine then the equation will comes left hand side are matching now what is the right hand side n is my 3 so 3 into 2 into f that is a 6 f c option is the correct d option is the wrong Look at the first and second options. The first and second option you can solve because it's a single derivative. You can solve by using equation number one. Clearly say the right hand side is n into f. So three into f. What is the x in this case? x is my one. y is equal to minus one. So x is my one. y is equal to minus one. x is equal to one. y is equal to minus one. And it is a n into f. Three into f is the correct answer. In this case, x is equal to one y is equal to 1 but when you take x and y are 1 it is a 1 and 1 but he suggested 3 and 3 that is a wrong option fine so that means the correct because it's a memory based questions i don't know whether the 3 written here if if this is the exact options then this is the right wrong answer on the other hand if i say 3 is written here then it is a correct option x is 1 y is equal to 1 n into f then it's a correct option but i go with the given options that I have received from the students. It's a B and C are the correct answer. And I feel this is the BSC related problem, not related to the MSC questions. Tell you, look at the next one, which of the following is the characteristics matrix. So what I told you, when you are talking about the matrix, you can solve the problem with the help of eigenvalues problem. A is my two cross two matrix such that the trace Trace means eigen sum of the eigenvalues. That means the sum of the eigenvalues is my 7. Trace of the A square. What is the eigenvalue of the A square? Lambda 1 square, lambda 2 square. That means the equation is lambda 1 square plus lambda 2 square is 29. I think the similar kind of the question I already explained in my last minute revision of the real uh, of the linear algebra. If you watch them, you can solve this problem in a quick manner. Now, your equation is minus trace of the matrix plus determinant of the matrix. Fine. You can clearly say the trace of the matrix is my 7. So your equation will be lambda square minus 7. So A option is cancelled. What is that determinant? Determinant is the product of the eigenvalues. So I can square the first equations. A square plus B square plus 2AB which is equal to 49. So can you find the value of lambda 1 into lambda 2? 
This number is 49 minus 29. That is 20. Product of the eigenvalue is my 10. Product of the eigenvalue is nothing but determinant of the matrix. So it's a plus of 10. D option is the correct. Rest all options are wrong is the correct answer. Fine. There is one more method. Instead of writing as a uh, lambda 1, lambda 2, you can easily see, you can easily see, I can find the lambda 1 value is my 5, lambda 2 is my 2. Because the numbers are very small. 5 plus 2 is 7, 25 plus 4 is 29. So based on these two eigens value, I can write the characteristics equation is again D is my right answer of the problem. Umid karta hu, aapke dono answers sahi huye honge bhi. Let me know in the comment box, have you solved all these questions correctly? Okay, look at the next one. SLM, that is a sum level problem. Fine. Okay, which of the following is eigenvalues? Do you remember my shortcut tricks related to the eigenvalues of the sum level problem? Then you can solve this problem in a 10 second time period. How? If you remember, what is the shortcut tricks? As I mentioned you, whenever you have the equations from say this one, then can you find the value of the lambda? Lambda is my n pi over l whole square. Fine. Ye to shortcut tricks batai thi maine aapko. How? I think you missed to watch my lecture on the sturm level problem, boundary value problem. Agar aapne ye lecture suna tha, to aap ka answer 15-20 second mein hi aa gaya hooga. Now, let's say, but remember that, that this number must be 0, but here it is 1. Can you convert this number to be the 0? I can take the logarithm on the both side. So 0 is less than of log of x is less than of 2 pi. Fine. Now once you and again is to a core condition kya hoti thi? y of 0 is 0 and y of l must be 0. Now you can see if you take the logarithm log of 1 is 0. This equation becomes 0 and the second value is you take the logarithm 2 pi is my 0. Clearly say both equations satisfied. So your answer will be lambda is n pi. What is the l? 2 pi minus 0 of 2 pi. So that number will be n squared by 4. Fine. But if you have examination mein is se nahi dimag na to aap kaise kar sakte ho? Is equation ko pehle thoda sa simplify kar lijiye. That number will be x double dash plus y dash plus lambda over x into y is equal to 0. I can multiply with the x on the both side. This is x square y double dash plus x y dash plus lambda y is equal to 0. Now clearly say this equation is known as Cauchy Euler equations. So I can substitute x is e raised to power z. That implies z will be my log of x. So this equation will reduce to y double dash plus lambda y is equal to 0. How? If you remember, what is the shortcut to x? As I mentioned you, whenever you have the Cauchy Euler equations of this nature, then by taking the substitution x is e raised to power z, your equations will be reduced to a y double dash plus b minus a of y dash plus c y is equal to 0. Now, if you look about these equations, x square y double dash, x square y double dash, x y dash plus lambda y is equal to 0. a is my 1, b is equal to 1, c is equal to lambda. Once you substitute them, b minus a will be 0, a will be 1, c is my lambda. So equation will be y double dash plus lambda y. So once you can get these equations, again you can see which is of this nature. And when you take log of x, the inequality y of 1 becomes y of 0 and y of e raised to power 2 pi becomes y of 2 pi. Now it satisfy this my shortcut twix. So the value of the lambda you have obtained is n square divided by 4. Now your target is to find the sum of 1 by lambda. So it will be 4 over n square where n 4 over i square. Fine, i varies from 1. So I can take on 4 is common, 1 over i square. And we all know it's a very standard result. What is the equation 1 over n square? 
this number will be pi square divided by 6 so i can substitute it is pi square over 6 the answer will be 2 pi square over 3 is the right answer of the problem so can you comment karke bata sakte ho whether you have solved the problem with the help of the shortcut tricks or not and how many answers you have corrected out of these three questions one two and three also let me know whether you feel that this approach is a very useful for you if yes you can watch my by these previous uploaded lecture which are free of course to all of you so that you can learn the tricks and get the answer in a quick minute i hope if you have some more question you can send me either to my whatsapp group or you can share you can comment on this video as well i hope you can share this video like and comment on it thank you very much for your support happy learning always